Oh, I watched this then. Bane. From Mayfax. That's right. Today, I have the Mayfax Batman Bane Nightfall version action figure. Box art's got Bane down there in the corner. Batman up at the top. Bane with a Batman logo on the side. Bane all flexy-like on this side of the box. And Bane in multiple different poses that showcase what he comes with and also him kicking Batman's ass. Oh, and the bottom has all of that boring stuff. Okay, so now that we've looked at the package, let's get him out. Oh. Here is what you get on the inside. And there ain't nothing else on the inside of the box. At first glance, we can see that Bane comes with an extra noodle, and he's very handy. And he's also got, uh, he's got a stand, like so, and a little piece of literature that probably nobody ever reads. Okay, let's get him out of this plastic jail cell. All right, we're gonna have to just carefully, just, whoops, oh, oh, okay, oh. At least I didn't let the figure fall out of the package. Let me get it arranged all purdy-like and I'll be back in a second. And here he is, out of the package. Here's a closer look at that alternate facial sculpt that Bane comes with. Pretty cool profile, his grabby hands, some other open sort of pensive grabby hands, his open bitch slappy hands, some open relaxed hands, and here are his two pointy finger hands. And of course we have the Bane figure. My goodness, what a cool looking figure. This, as far as I'm concerned, is the Bane figure to get. This is, in my opinion, probably the best Bane figure I've ever seen. I really, really like this so much. He's big, he's bulky, he means business, and he looks every bit, every bit, like he could just pick up Batman and break his back over his knee. This Bane means business, and you can see it all over this figure. I love this. He's got his signature Bane belt. He's got the control panel-y thing here for his venom injector. He's got the tube that goes all the way up, connects behind his arm, and goes into the back of his head there. Look, you can even see the zipper for his Luchador style mask that he's wearing. Goes all the way around, over the top of his head. This is so good. And the primary facial sculpt is perfect. It's perfect. I don't have anything that I can say about this in regards to them making it better or doing a better job. I don't have any complaints. This looks so good. And you can actually pull his face off. Just gonna pull it here carefully. I don't wanna break anything. Sorry, I did it off camera because I wanted to be able to pay attention to what I was doing and not damage the figure. But yeah, that's what it looks like when you take his face off and you can just pop the other facial profile right on there. Just squeeze it and ta-da! There's Bane's other face. I don't like this one quite as much. I like it, like it looks good, it looks accurate, but I definitely like this one right here, the, the original one, the initial one that comes on the body. I definitely like it a little bit better. So for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna pop this one back together and this will be the Bane face sculpt that you see for the rest of the video. I like the fact that they painted his hairy shoulders and his, his hairy back. And there's shading on the flesh tones. Those muscles are so huge, just massive muscles. This is every bit as accurate as I hoped it was going to be. Like, look at them boots. Look at them Batman stomping boots. And on the bottom, you have the Dr. Martin style treads, and you've got his punchy knuckle gloves. As for comparisons, I've got them compared to the Hush Batman and the Crusader Knight Batman, and those are the only two I'm gonna compare him to because they seem like the only ones that really matter. Mafex really does a good job of making sure that the scale of their figures is proper. I really like this. How articulated is he though? For a big guy, Will he prove to be articulated enough 
Or will he just be a dud? Well, I can tell you now, so far, he is not just a poseable statue. That is, that is a considerable amount of articulation so far that we're seeing. Look how far back he can go. Look at how far forward he can go. Very cool. He's got a ball joint right up inside the torso here. He's got these little butterfly hinges right here, these rounded sockets, and they move up and out of the way. And of course he gets definitely more than a T-pose. I've ripped his arm off as is what I do in my videos. I'm always ripping a limb off somewhere. That's what his arms get. Of course, when you spin them up, you get a full rotation. You also have 360 bicep. Now, be aware that you're gonna have some issues getting a full 360 swivel with this, this wire here, this venom tube. But the reality is, I mean, no one's arm can just go round and around and around and around and around and around. So it's pretty realistic. He's got his double jointed elbows. Look, he's even got elbow wrinkles. Do you see his elbow wrinkles? And they look pretty good. Well, not the wrinkles. I mean, yes, the wrinkles look good, but like the elbows themselves, I like how they, they just, the elbows, whoop, whoop. They just kind of go inside one another. And then of course he's got his wrists on the rounded hinge with a peg, so it's gonna swivel fully around. You've got the head, which is attached at the top of the neck, and there's also articulation at the bottom of the neck. So he's got double the articulation there. He can look up, he can look down, he can kinda look all around. There's plenty of motion there for realistic posing. Down here, we have drop hinges that enable the legs to go right up that are attached via rounded ball joints. And they actually get a really good full amount of articulation. And yes, he does have the approximation of a thigh cut. It's just, it's just up on the inside, but he does indeed have it. And it is enough for me. You have knees that are double jointed that crunch up really nicely for knee and Batman in the guts. And then you have these ankles, which are, what are they? Are they on a rounded hinge? They look like they're on a ball joint. They look like they're attached via a barbell down in there. And does he have toe articulation? Yes, he does. He has plenty of toe articulation as well. So a mighty fine, very articulated action figure. You'll be able to get him into whatever pose pretty much you're looking to get Bane and Batman into on your shelf. So what do I think about this Bane figure? Well, I love it. I think that it's fantastic. The quality from Mafex is always something that I think is top notch. They always do a great job of capturing the look and the feel the essence and the likeness of each character they're trying to create a figure of, especially with these Hush and classic Batman figures and classic Superman figures. They really have been doing such a fantastic job. And this Bane is no exception to that. It is absolutely on par with the excellence and quality that I've come to expect from Mafex. Anyway, that is my review. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch it. It really means a lot to me, and I will see you with the next one. Have a super awesome DC day, everybody, and take care.